We could walk along the field too, okay, it's not too bad. So yeah, we can see the second polygon of the second field. Now it's roughly 24 hours since, yeah, almost, yeah, 24 since hours. they have been here. Oh, legally we are obliged to put these stickers. So it looks like they have left this guy. What is this species? Rian fauna in Swedish. Yeah. That's a medicinal plant, so uh -huh. it tastes very strong. I think it's poisonous in large amounts, also for cows. Uh -huh. And the yarrow, they also leave and eat only when everything else is eaten. Yeah. That's also a medicinal plant. Oh, they're so coming to us. Now they're Hello. coming. Is it all five, hey, six, seven? Hey, good man. Five, six, seven at the front, as usual. People here. So that salt block has, has been around for the first polygon of the second field and now it's moved to the second polygon. There she goes and licks. Rosa is being, she's the matriarch, the white one with pink nose. The bluebells, they also, they ate a few I saw immediately after we let them in, but they've left quite a few of them too. Yeah. The thistles, I think they kind of eat them. Yeah. Um. Hello. Hey, boy. Do you want to lick, uh, lick Elizabeth's hand? Hey. Come from and help us. Shall we come and help us? She doesn't like. Mm. They don't want to just perform. Yeah, you know? of course. <laughs> but they They've usually, got their integrity. They usually like to lick your hand when you feed them fresh stuff when they're. That's mainly because they yeah. think they're going to get something and then they're a bit disappointed when they realize yeah. it's just a hand they're licking and they're like, oh yeah. shit, that's not food. Mm -hmm. Hey, come on. Hey. Hey. What say you? Ska we help you? Oh, 0531 is pooing. Yep. Okay, look, there's uh, I guess it rained a tiny bit, so yeah. the poo is a bit... Yeah, and they look oh. like they have maybe a bit of diarrhea. I don't think it's diarrhea, it's a natural yeah. processing that happens when they eat fresh vegetation with so much yeah. water in it. Could be. Look at the thistles here. Yeah, they seem to have, I don't know, maybe eaten parts of them? Or mainly trample or them. maybe they trample them in the Ogallala Lakota tribe of the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation where I spent some time they have oral stories um, that the buffalo go and trample weeds that they don't like and in their oral histories the Ogallala Lakota nations oral histories the buffalo people actually uh, manage the plant people and the plant people feed the buffalo people. And what is that one? Um, that's the yarrow? No. That's the yarrow, the white the one. White These were the daisies, but they've, you know, they're, they finished flowering some time ago. Okay. And apparently this might, can't be any nutrients in this. So yeah, of course. So yeah. any machine learning algorithm that tries to identify plants has to actually understand the different stages of the same plant. Yeah. So here's a yarrow flower, and this is the yarrow leaf, right? The serrated thingy. Here. This is what the leaves look like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, now the cows think I was picking something for them to eat. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it wasn't for you then. No, just be yourselves and do whatever. We're it's just being ourselves. It's not fun to pick yeah. here for you anyway. Let's go see how the, the reel... So it looks like after 24 hours there is quite a lot of selective grazing evidence. It's consistency. Yarrows are left behind everywhere pretty much at a fast higher rate. 
and in general stuff that has finished flowering and that is likely to have very low nutrient density is left yeah. and fresh green stuff is yeah. eaten first. Possibly we can test these falsifiable yeah. hypotheses but also I noticed no clover no evidence of clover they've eaten all the clovers yeah it's quite interesting I think clover is probably a favorite it's hey. also quite high in protein Oy, easy hey, easy <laughs> so far six seven she's always a bit dramatic So here we see some daisies that haven't quite finished flowering, so yeah. this is... Yeah. This Dagekopa, I only know it in Swedish, they have not eaten those leaves yeah. uh, much at all. 0531 seems to be... Yeah. There is a little bit of kråkvicke, we see a kraka, the, the, the purple one there. Careful with the fence. Yeah, and yeah. that I think they quite, they, they like it a lot when you feed it by hand. So they probably just maybe miss that one because it's the first one I've seen now in the field. Yeah. But with the grasses, it's, uh, the, a lot of them, they just eat the seed heads. Oh, they eat the seed heads. Yeah, they start with the seed heads. That actually right? is amazing, see, yeah, because they the have high nutrients the usually. Yeah. So again, the Ogla Lakota people told me that the, uh, so this is uh, Deborah Whitebloom, uh, Alex Whitebloom's wife. Um, she told me that, uh, yeah, that they, they eat the seeds because the buffalo people and the plant people have worked out a deal. And so when the high nutrient seeds, when it's only ready to be eaten, the buffalo apparently eat them. And then it passes through their system and actually falls ready and germinates. Huh. Okay, our system here, let's see how it's holding up. It's holding our, up, yeah. With our twisty tight thingamabobs, it's still stable. Let's do and a little test here. With the grass. So, ah uh, yeah, that is hot. Shot. Ah, that is hot. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I'm just gonna test all three for fun. And. Whoa, hey, yeah. And make sure that this is not hot. So that should be this insulated. Is, this yes. is not hot, no. Good, good. Yeah. So this system is working with some insulation tubes nailed in. Yeah. And some of these clippy things used to help, but I will try to rig up a better system for it so it's a lot faster to latch on and off. Yeah. Especially on the next post when we will be moving them to create the next tri triangle. Yeah. Okay, that's a uh, good evening. Yes. And I hope I'm also in view. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fog. Just finish with the fog over the valley. Oh, right. Can you capture it on camera? Maybe. Oh, right. There's a fog on. It's a on very beautiful evening. Yunga Jungadalen, Jungan Valley. Yeah. So that's the river that runs there between the yellow house and here. It's hard to see the river now. But it also has some fog. Oh, five, six, seven. Yeah. She's it's finished always, with the cows. Yeah, she's always very not shy. Yeah. We should have her in a future breeding program. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Love you. Sleep tight or keep eating and pooping. Keep eating and pooping.